Hello learner, welcome to the channel. This is the third lecture of Cisco Packet Tracer tool to simulate various network environments. In the previous videos, we have covered the downloading and installation of this tool and how we can simulate simple LAN with star topology with the help of hub and switches and what are their differences we have already covered. If you have not gone through do those videos and not familiar with hub and switch, then go through those videos first because in this video we are going to extend the uh, star topology to extended star topology where we can create a bigger environment or bigger, bigger network with Cisco Packet Tracer tool. So let's start the lecture with a brief introduction of the star topology. As we have already covered it is most common network setup where all the devices are connected through a central, net, central network device. This device can be a hub or a switch and as we already know hub perform the broadcast means if it receive the packet from one device it simply forward it simply forward the packet to all other devices except the source one so if it is receiving the packet from this node it will simply forward the packet to all other devices all other devices connected to the network but switch work intelligently and will transmit the packet to only the destination node so this is the difference between hub and switch so in this lecture we have already constructed this type of topology this type of LAN in the previous lecture in this lecture we are going to extend the same network with with this type of network where we have multiple switches and multiple hubs connected to each other to create a larger network. So here these are the sub networks for this complete network. So let's start the simulation. Here we have the Cisco Packet Tracer tool. So let's quickly select the end devices to communicate. We have selected two PC, one laptop. PC and laptops are similar type of device means they are not distinct in network terms in terms of network. Their connections will be same exactly and for these devices firstly connect them through hub. So we are selecting hub. This is another hub and this is the hub at the next level. So we have installed three hub and four systems to connect in this extended star topology. So let's configure the systems first. 192 we are configuring them with the class C IP address. You must provide all the system in a network with the same type of network ID as we have provided this ID. So all the systems are going to have the same um, IP IP address not same IP address with different host ID but same network ID so here the subnet mask is taken as 255.255.255.0 that is the, the subnet mask for class C similarly I am going to set up the IP address of the second system as this but the host ID is 2 same network ID host ID is 2 for third system this is the same network ID host ID is 3 and subnet mask is taken automatically for all these cases because we are using class 3 addressing class C and this is the system 4 subnet mask is this and the configuration is done now we have to make connections so for connecting similar type of devices we were using cross crossover cable and to connect distinct devices means if I want to connect this end device to this hub then I need to use straight through cable. So here we have the cable connections tools from where to, uh, to connect the similar devices I have to select this copper crossover cable and then I have to select the uh, port where we have to connect ok. For example I have chosen this fast ethernet 0 and I am connecting this to 
sorry this i am connecting here it with fast ethernet 0 so the connection is done another option is you can select this smart cable this is automatically choose connection type so if you are selecting this type of this cable connection it will automatically detect the type of devices we are connected and it will automatically provide them straight through or crossover connection as per the devices we are connecting so here for these devices we even uh, do not require to select the fast ethernet mode it will automatically select the type of cable and the port we are connecting so it has automatically taken the past fast ethernet connection for these two hub same way we can select the connection for these systems so these systems are connected through straight through cable because the they are distinct devices but we have not selected the straight through cable we have selected the automatic choose connection type cable so it is automatically selecting the connection type so that we can make the connections faster so here our network setup is done we have successfully connected the devices now let's start sending a pdu packet data unit from the source one source system to another system so here i am selecting this as the source and this as the destination for our packet transmission so this is our pdu from the source to destination okay and the you can see the status here as successful means the packet is successfully transmitted let's start the simulation so here the packet is transmitted from this source to hub and hub will broadcast to this hub and this system and all hubs are performing broadcasting we have covered this if you recollect from the last video we have already covered this functionality in detail now this will also discard the packet this is the only system that will respond to the packet because this is our destination system destination node so again hub is broadcasting the acknowledgement to both the connected nodes node can be a hub or can be a system so there is no confusion hub will automatically transmit to all so here the transmission is complete acknowledgement successfully received to the source system so here let's change the connections from this hub if we use the switch let's simply delete this hub it you it will prompt you before de uh, deleting just for the confirmation and now we are going to deploy a switch this is like a complete physical deployment again for cable i am choosing the automatic connection type that will connect them automatically initially the connections were red because data communication was not active and this switch take some time for configuration here two uh, red dots turned green but here we uh, still have the red dots so we have to wait till these red dots turned green to start the connection okay as these dot turn green we can be able to send the packet data unit from any host in this network to this network these are like two different subnets so this is one subnet sub network and this is another sub network as we can see the dots turned green that means connection is on uh, and we can start the data communication so let's begin with a new data packet unit from this source to this destination and this time we have a mix of hub and switch this these hubs are going to broadcast the packet and acknowledgement but this switch will directly send the packet to this destination hub it will not broadcast to both the nodes connected nodes so let's here the status is successful if you can see so let's start the simulation
packet is transmitted from source to this hub this hub is by its behavior simul uh, broadcasting the packets and but the switch has not broadcasted the packet it has sent the packet to only this hub not to all so the packet is received at destination and the acknowledgement is going back to the source again hub has broadcasted the acknowledgement but switch will work smartly and send the acknowledgement to the destination node only for switch the destination node is this for hub the destination nodes are this so for every device we have different source and destination okay because switch cannot directly send the packet to this or this node they have to go uh, pass through the intermediate nodes in the network so for switch the destination is this or this but switch has not broadcasted the them all they have the switch has sent to the specific node means next node in the network so let's change the hubs to switch we are again changing our connection so it's so easy to simulate with different type of devices in this tool but not physically we can practice these things so here again we are selecting the switches instead of hub now we are using the smart devices intelligent device switch to uh, for the connection so let's choose the automatic connection to make the connection fast it will automatically select the fast ethernet mode and the type of cable here is straight through because we are connecting different devices so let's make the connections fast initially they are red because it's taking some time to configure switch need time for booting but hub as hub is totally hardware device with no software administration so hardware devices are configured as they are connected but switch as it's a software combination of software and hardware so it takes time to boot so still some connections are red so we have to wait till then we can select the packet data unit to transmit this time we are taking this as the source system so we have changed the source and this as the destination system so let's watch the functionality of switch so the status is successful so let's start the simulation the packet is transmitted from the source to the switch and switch is forwarding the packet to only the specific connected node means where the packet need to be transmitted only the switch has not broadcasted to this system in the network so here the packet is successfully received by destination now the reverse process means the pack acknowledgement is sent back from the destination system to the switch and switch will go straight through to the source only means it will not send packet to any xyz node connected in the network so here the acknowledgement is received successfully by the source node this is the way how we can create the next level networks with the help of these connecting network devices we can also use routers and other devices in the network that we will practice in the later sessions till then bye and take care